Hi, I'm Rich Ochoa. Some of you know that I work at Amazon. This t-shirt proves it. A lot of people have been asking me, what do you think about Jeff leaving? To answer that question, let me start with how I met Jeff. I came to Amazon in 2013. On day one, when I arrived to Seattle headquarters, security told me Jeff wanted me in his office straight up. Well, I had new hire orientation and all, so I told them, you tell Jeff I'll be free at lunch. So I'm sitting in new hire orientation, right? And I get this text. Jeff wants to know if you can meet him at Pike Market for lunch. Signed, Jeff Secretary. I'm like, damn, Jeff got his own secretary? So I'm like, okay. I meet him at Athenia's, right? Down at the market. I order the halibut, but Jeff orders a kid's meal. I'm like, Jeff, what's up with a kid's meal? He's like, McKinsey has me on an allowance. $15 limit for lunch. I'm like, dog, you should divorce that bitch. Jeff is like, I'll think about it, bro. Anyway, this is going down way back, right? So Jeff tells me he brought me to Amazon to build an Amazon branded phone. He's like, Rich, build me a phone. I'm like, I got this, Jeff. We'll call it Fire Phone, you know? The logical progression from Kindle, right? Get it? A Kindle becomes a fire. He's like, brilliant. And I'm like, let's make it for only one carrier, right? Just one carrier, not have any apps. And let's put like 10 cameras like all over it, front, back, everywhere. He's like, brilliant. And I'm like, I got this, bro. We're going to sell thousands of these things. Thousands with a capital T. Watch me, right? So anyway, Jeff sees I'm not eating the last fish chip, right? He's like, bro, you eating that? I'm like, nah, you want it? Yeah, I want it. This kid's meal isn't enough, right? So I walk across the floor, right? Like 20 feet away from Jeff take my little fish chip, right? And I sling it across the pavilion, right? Jeff reaches up, snags the fish like that, man, quick like a cat. And a bunch of tourists start clapping and taking pictures, right? Then two guys over at the pavilion, the fish pavilion next door, right? They start throwing this full-size cod, like a 20-pound cod across the pavilion, right? Anyway, that's how fish throwing kind of became a thing at Pike Market. You know, it all started with me and Jeff. Um, a lot of you know that I bench 350, right? Well, at least I used to. So I had this bench set up at the Amazon Spheres. You know, I'm a senior manager, L6 at Amazon, right? So they pretty much let me set up a bench press station wherever I want. In fact, I had about three of them set up there, right? So Jeff comes by one day, right? And he sees me pumping, you know? And he goes, dude, that must be 350. I'm like, yeah, it's exactly 350 pounds. Dude was smart like that, man. Jeff is smart. Jeff's smart about a lot of things, right? So pretty soon, I've got Jeff down on the bench, you know? And he's in this brown tweed blazer, you know, giving everything he's got, you know, to just, to just press the bar a few times, right? Well, we start meeting for lunch workouts, right? And I train him up. And like a year later, you know, he's ditched the sport coat, shaved his head, started dressing like the FBI, and he's all badass and shit, right? Yeah, that was me. So anyway, fast forward a few months, Jeff and I are playing golf, you know, at the Space Needle Country Club. We're on 18, headed for the clubhouse, you know. Jeff slices it off the tee. That's the thing about Jeff, you know. He has this wicked slice. It's common knowledge among his golfing buddies. Ask Elon, he knows. Elon, don't get me started on Elon, man. Elon is the worst golfer I've ever seen. But you play with those two guys, and all they do is argue about rocket ships, right? And Elon's always trying to get Jeff to take a hit on a joint, you know? And Jeff's like, nah, nah, Elon, man, McKinsey would kill me. Anyway, Jeff slices it. The ball bounces off the fairway, comes to rest right in the Chihuly Glass Museum parking lot, right? So a car drives by. Car drives by the golf ball, right? And clips the edge of it. The edge of the tire pops a golf ball out about 50 feet, it bounces right back onto the fairway, right? So Jeff approaches his Titleist, right? And he's like laughing, like, <laughs> Jeff has this like over-exaggerated laugh. You know, those of us who know Jeff well have heard this laugh many times, right? He walks with the ball, looks at Billy, you know, uh, Gates, uh, not Clinton, um, and Katie, right? And he pulls out his five iron and he's like, you play it where it lies, boys, pop. Lays it right up on the green in two. Unbelievable. Billy's like, baby, you're a firework, right? And Katie's like, hey, Billy, you mind if I use that in a song? And Billy's like, I want 25% of the royalties. That struck me as so profound, you know? Jeff says, you play it where it lies, boys. What a metaphor. 
Anyway, so we're up in the Space Needle after the round, throwing a few back, and this waitress, she's got almost like this computer-like voice, man. Freaky, just freaky. We're done eating, and Jeff asks the waitress, hey, Alexa, can I have the cheesecake for dessert, right? And the waitress goes, I'm sorry, I don't know how to answer that. And I'm like, Jeff, I, I got an idea. Alexa, stop. Anyway, I'm like, Jeff, I think I got an idea. And that's how Alexa was born, dog. Me and Jeff drew up an Alexa model on a napkin in the Space Needle. Yep. True story. Jeff? I'm going to miss you, man. See you Saturday morning at the Pro Shop. I'm Rich Ochoa, and it's always day one at Amazon.